Hi, I'm going to show you how I'm about to cut my wedding invitation with my muse. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to capture an image of my workspace using the camera inside the muse. The first thing is you want to clear the last visual and you will see that step-by-step -step instructions are included on how to proceed, which is actually pretty easy. Uh, all you do is you place the laser head over your material. You don't want it on the edge. It's best if you put it in the center of the honeycomb workspace, like shown in this little video. And then after you put your billet in between the laser and your material and tighten the screw, go ahead and hit continue. And now the Muse is taking several photos of inside the workspace and it's going to stitch together an image so that you are able to place your file directly on top of your material, which is really, really cool. What's really awesome about this feature is that it makes registration a snap. And here we go. So this is my material that I have inside my Muse laser cutter. It is a, a pretty thick piece of cardstock. It's about 105 uh, pounds for paperweight. And what I did is I just used some pieces of painter's tape along the the edges as a jig so I'll just keep pumping these out and I know exactly where to put it in my my honeycomb I'm not gonna struggle taking an image over and over again because each time that I place the paper inside my muse it's gonna be in the same exact spot so that's a little tip I have for you if you're planning on doing something um, many times and I'm gonna drag my file by simply going to this little folder and this is the old file, I'm going to delete that and I'm going to drag my file that I created here we go PDF, open okay and I don't need this raster file because all I want to do is vector cut so I'm going to delete this raster and I'm left with my vector and gonna just drag it to where I need it to be on my material. It doesn't need to be perfect. I don't need these edges so if it's not perfectly straight that's totally fine. Now I'm going to adjust my power. Okay so I checked my settings that I was happy with and the black lines are going to be cut and this red line here is going to be scored. And the reason why I want it to be scored is this, that I'm able to fold it easily without creasing or bending the paper. Um, for my speed for the cutting, it's going to be 100, the power is 18, and the current is 70. For the scoring part, this red line, my speed is 100, the power is 5, and the current is 50. Now you can go ahead and play with these. Um, settings. This is just what works for me for this particular kind of paper, which I have mentioned is fairly thick, about as thick as a business card. Um, these are just guidelines. It, the settings are always going to be a matter of trial and error. Every material is different, but this is what worked for me. And if you go to this little stopwatch uh, timer, it will give you an estimate of how long the whole job will take to complete and for this one in particular it's going to be 7 minutes and 23 seconds so I'm going to hit OK and now I'm going to get ready to cut when I press play the machine's going to fire up and here we go so here's the muse in action it's almost finished with this very intricate design. It's cutting at 100 speeds. As you can see, it is going very quickly. There we have it. As you can see, some of these pieces have fallen in. This is very easy to take 
all I'm gonna do is give this a little shake and some of these pieces may need to be poked out very easily just like just like that and here's the final product feel free to customize as you wish thanks for watching